Hi, this is Pat, and in this video we're going to be talking about images, and uh, specifically responsive images. How is it that we can have images that adjust based on the screen resolution of the device where we're seeing those images? So in this example we can see that as we adjust the screen size, uh, the images adjust and retain their proportion. Uh, we can also see that as we move to mobile devices, the images um, fit nicely uh, across the mobile device and, and don't exceed the bounds of the mobile device. This is what we call responsive images. So when working with responsive images, there's a few things to keep in mind. And the first is that the image is going to display based on the width that it's set at and the height is going to display based on the proportion of the image. So in this example, we can see that this image is 286 pixels wide by 400 pixels tall. And this image is 287 pixels wide by 400 tall, so it's just one pixel taller. And then we can take a look at this image, and we see that this image is 267 pixels by 400 pixels. So each, even though each of these images has the same height, because the width of the image varies, uh, the proportion of those images vary. So if we wanted to have these images display at exactly the same height on all of our uh, screen resolutions, we would need those images to start off being the same size. So let's take an example of how we can work on that in the management system. In this example, we'll go to the home page and when we take a look at the image and select the image tool, we can see that these images are set using percentages. So each image in this example is set at 100% of the area that it's being contained in. Um, so adjusting those image heights and making those images all the same size will allow those images to display uniformly um, and equally across that horizontal bar. So to do that, I'm going to use my image editor, which I use uh, Photoshop to manage my images, but there's a lot of different ways that you can uh, manage the images that you have and make sure that they're all the same size. There's a number of free web resources, and we'll take a look at that later in this video. All right, so everyone's workflow is a little different, but let me show you how I would handle this situation. The first thing I'm going to do is copy the image, and then I'm going to make a new uh, template for that image. I'm going to paste that in, and I'm going to go ahead and crop this image a little bit right now just to try to remove some of that parking area from the, uh, uh, from the front of this photo. All right, so now that I've got that just where I want, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to create a, a new template for, for this area. All right, so now I've got one image with uh, the size that I want the final images to end up in. So I'm gonna just copy the other images and I'm going to just paste them and arrange them uh, just as I would like in the uh, final presentation. So let's uh, put that one there and let's go back over and grab the cross and copy that image. I'm going to paste that. Now I need to adjust it a little bit because see it doesn't fill the whole width. So let's do that and I'm going to apply those changes and then my last image. I'm going to copy that image and paste it in and I'm going to adjust its size just a little bit so that it fits nicely in the area that we're working with. All right. Now that I've got those images all the same size, I can simply uh, export those and save them for the web. And uh, I'll do that now. Now that I have all those images saved, I'm just going to go ahead and add them to my image library. Now that I've selected them all, I can just simply click Upload, and these images are going to show up in my image library momentarily. 
Well, those images uh, complete their processing. I'm just going to delete these old images from the feature area. Now that those images have completed uploading, uh, I can refresh my editor window and they will show up down in my edit area here. And I can simply drag those into the uh, feature area that I want to use them on. And uh, I do notice I have a little extra space at the top here, so I'm just going to remove that. And then I'm going to select each image uh, in the class. And for this example, we want them to all be at 100%. And uh, so we're just going to select that on each of the images. And one more. Now I'm going to click Update. Now if we go back to our site and we refresh, we'll see all of these images at exactly the same height. And regardless of what screen resolution uh, we view these images on, uh, they're going to adjust to be just uh, the same proportion that they start at.